Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to go ahead and take the new Dokkan Fest exclusive Bardock into Extreme Super Battle Road. Now, I am a little bit concerned here because this Super Battle Road stage is ridiculously difficult, right? It's so hard. This is definitely the single hardest stage in the game, I would say. This Super AGL extreme super battle road stage again it seems insane because like the options you have for this team are just like like in, in, incomparable um okay so uh the other thing too about bardock that we're gonna have to talk about is his ability to be ridiculous against wicked bloodline enemies i think you are going to get a lot farther um using that ability like in this type of super battle road than like not using it right because like normally it's like okay he does have his defensive stacking but i i don't think the defensive stacking is really going to be enough right um now two of the fights we could actually get that ability in um i probably could not use an item here so i think we're going to go ahead and do that i mean the good news is that th this is more so a test of how good bardock does in this stage rather than like winning it right so like if we just die like we just hop right back in and it's not hard to find um lr gohan you know kamehameha friends okay super vegeto doesn't get super attacked immediately and think okay so that's whew, that's what we want right there the super attack the second attack he still took 300k though so i actually do think we are going to die instantly like look look at how crazy this rotation is right we have agl super vegeto um we have lr gohan and then we have the 50 percent support pan so, Pan was giving 50% defense to both that Vegito and this Gohan. That 4.3, by the way, is very high. <laughs> that is very good from Gohan. Um, but unfortunately, doesn't matter. We're dead. I believe so. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're dead. Okay. So, well, I mean, there we go. <laughs> that's, um, that's how that goes in Super AGL Extreme Super Battle Road. I, I would say... Right now, I, I just don't see how this stage is going to be possible to do no items. Because, again, other stages aren't as insane as this one. That's for sure. Uh, okay. So, we do have Freeze in, in the second fight. We don't have Cooler in the third fight. Okay. So, the way this would go, right, is in the second fight, you get either the Ginyu Force, you get Pod Freeze, Zarbon, and Dodoria, or you get Mecha Freeze and King Cold. And then in the third fight, you get the two Turles, Cooler, or Android 13 fights, right? So obviously in fight three, you'd want Cooler. Fight two, you want, you know, Mecha Frieza and King Cold, or Pod Frieza and Zarbon and Dodoria. Um, I mean, we just saw what happened here. Uh, I probably... Man, I, see, I, I want... Like, okay. LR Gohan? Oh, okay. We saw how much damage LR Gohan took last turn, right? After he super attacked, he was taking, like, what, 40k? What was it? So he's at 143k defense right there. So, like, that's... Like, Bardock... Okay, as far as defense goes, Bardock is like LR Gohan, but not as good. <laughs> Basically, right? I mean, that's, that's... That's pretty much what we can say. I mean, there he is. Like, that's with a wheeze. Like, like this, stage, this stage is so crazy. So, you know, if you're wondering, is Dokkan Fest Bardock the new shiny Bardock? Is he the key to beating this? No. No, he is not. <laughs> I, I do think he probably can be quite exceptional, um, especially if we're going up again um, against a Wicked Bloodline enemy. Because at that point, once we transform, you know, then he's going to have guaranteed crits. He's going to have additionals. He's going to be super effective against all types. He's going to have damage reduction. He's going to have a chance to dodge. Like, once you factor all of that in against Wicked Bloodline enemies, once he transforms into Super Saiyan, now we're talking a little bit better. I... I don't know. Um, can I survive this turn? I, I, yeah. Yeah, we can. The, the reason we can definitely survive is because we could take out Crane Hermit. Yeah, we can. Yep. Yep. We could survive. Okay. Okay. So, I'm not... There's not going to be two instant losses right away. Um, oh, I didn't check what Bardock's defense was. That's okay. How much damage will he take here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, again, he's, uh, you know, very similar to LR Gohan, except way worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically uh, what to think about with Bardock here. Okay, good. Tau did not super attack. I mean, Gohan, this LR Gohan could probably eat a super attack from Tau and we would survive. But, you know, I do need Crane Hermit to get eliminated here, which we did. You know, LR Gohan definitely showing out, looking very, very impressive here, no doubt about. This Mai has a 70% chance to stun, by the way, so she could be very good in here. 
And she didn't stun. That sucks. Um, if he supers, we're dead. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, with a Whis. 65k. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I don't have a Trunks or... Oh! Vegito. You... You sexy boy. There we go, Vegito. Okay. So, <laughs> remember how we were like, wow, Vegito is... His easy A is very weird. Well, I mean, besides the fact that he could get supered instantly and not have his defense up, uh, like, being under 40% HP and stuff like that, it's not really an issue here. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'm going to use a Princess Snake. Oh, boy. I mean, the good news is that we could put LR Gohan right there. I mean, his defense is now going to be super high after he super attacks, right? To sort of close off some of that damage we could take. Um, oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. We could still super attack right there. Okay, okay, that's good. Because the Trunks and Mai, they do greatly raise their defense, I believe, um, on super attack. So we do want to make sure that they, you know, get a super attack um, and not be in slot one, right? Um, all right, well, the good news is that next turn... We can transform with Bardock, but, I mean, we saw the amount of damage Bardock was taking before. Like, you know, I, I want to take a look at his defense. Remember, his defense is going to go down when he transforms, but he is going to get that damage reduction. So that's going to be good. And we are fighting um, an extreme class enemy, so Bardock is going to be super effective against all types. I mean, I guess, hmm, I, I guess thinking about it, though, in this stage right here, it's not really as useful that Bardock is going to get super effective against all types, right? Because um, in here, the enemies are already STR. So, yeah, his defense is 136k. I mean, that's with Pan on rotation, giving 50% as well. We will transform into Super Saiyan. Um, even though his defense will go down a little bit, um, after he supers, it should go up, I think, to at least around the spot it was, or probably higher. Um, but then, he, again, he also does have that damage reduction, which 18%. I don't know that it's going to be the best, but it certainly will help out. Um, so we'll do this. Um, he is not going to need key. Key's not going to be an issue for him. We can go ahead and do that with Gohan. That's going to heal us up uh, a, at least a decent little bit right there. I think I don't have an item active, right? Hmm. I do want to make sure to get through this fight. Um, and I, I want to have Bardock transform, like, right away against Wicked Bloodline enemies and show him kind of stunting against Wicked Bloodline enemies as well. So I would really prefer not to die here. Um, 4.19, okay, I think he should take Tau out. So that was Bardock with no items active. He took, like, 39k, Super Saiyan. I mean, that is acceptable. Uh, and Super HGL, it better be, right? <laughs> Listen, you're gonna, you're gonna have to take what you can get. <laughs> like, if this stage, again, I, like... These are, like, the best units in the game that are just getting torn to shreds in here, right? So, uh, Vegito coming in clutch again, but look at this. Look at that. See? That's the issue with Vegito right there. Frieza, the very first attack is going to be a super attack. So, what that means is Vegito's ability, pointless. Pointless is what that means. Very unfortunate. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and float my off so we can maybe get the Mafuba. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, King Cold is supering at the end there, too, huh? Um, I'm gonna use an Android 8, then, as well. Um, because my... I guess, you know, my has a 70% chance to stun. So, being realistic, I think my probably could have gotten the stun off. Because she didn't get it before. Several turn. Oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. Okay, we're fine. Several turns in a row of my not getting her stun. I mean, that's just not realistic, right? Because she's got a 70% chance, so... Yep, but there we go. I mean, at least with Vegito's scouter ability, we were able to foresee that coming, right? We were able to see, oh, he's going to get supered right away. Definitely have to drop an item right here for big time extra defense. So um, that is the type of thing uh, to worry about in this stage. Again, it's it's super hard, man. Like like this, this is going to be tough. This, I would say, like for free to play players and stuff, this is probably even going to be like the hardest stage too. Maybe I don't know. Maybe not because. I guess at the very least, like, if you're a free-to-play player, chances are you might have Super Vegito or Gohan or Super Saiyan 4 Goku, one of these units. My, the reason being that these are units that have been on banners where free-to-play players are always summoning for them, right? Whereas maybe for something like Extreme AGL or something like that, a free-to-play player might struggle a little bit more because maybe they didn't summon for Android 13 or Turles or, you know, Baby or something like that, right? So, I, I don't know, maybe Super AGL... They probably did correctly balance it by making it by far the hardest stage just because the Ross are so crazy. Uh, okay. Well, we kind of wasted the sun, but we'll take it. Okay. Um, we have extra defense from Android 8. We do. Uh, we're definitely going to transform right away. I mean, I mean, in here, you can't you can't play around. You can't risk it. You can't do anything. You just transform with Bardock right away. 
because you need the extra 18% chance to dodge and 18% damage reduction and stuff that he gets. The thing is, though, offensively against a Wicked Bloodline unit, he is so crazy. Um, so we're going to put Bardock in slot 2 to maximize his defensive ability because, remember, again, he does um, uh, raise defense for one turn uh, on his super attack. All right, we can go ahead, and get, go ahead and get a super right there. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead and see how this is going to work out. Um, best case scenario, Bardock gives us three super attacks, and that raises his defense three times. I mean, that's probably not going to happen, but he could give us at least two super attacks with guaranteed crits, super effective against all types, all, just all this stuff active, right, against a Wicked Bloodline category enemy. So that's a guaranteed crit. Give me the second one. It was a normal. Come on, give me one more. Give me one more, Bardock. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Okay. A do that might be his dodge from his ability. And then 42k. Oh, that would have dropped a little bit more. Um, again, had he gotten his super attack. I'm having trouble getting Mai and Chunks and Mai on the same rotation, huh? Because we could get that Mafuba off. Um, it, it could be, like, Mai with her 70% chance to stun, plus that, you know, extra attack and defense she does give to all AGL allies, which is, I mean, good, right? So, like... Uh, with that, does she also give key to AGL allies? Let me confirm that. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, Mai gives all allies 3 key and 20% attack and defense for AGL allies. That's good. Factored in with her 70% chance to stun. And then again, if you do have um, the Trunks and Mai, and you could you know use them on the same rotation turn 3 or later, and you can get the Mafuba, which of course is ridiculous. Um, okay, so we're good here. We can go ahead and finish off Mecha Frieza. Um, I mean, again, this is intended to show how Pardock handles himself here in Extreme Super Battle Road. I mean, you guys can let me know what you think of him. I mean, again, you... Whereas in many normal events throughout the game, you know, maybe Battlefields, EZA, a lot of these places, Bardock is going to be a great defensive unit. Extreme Super Battle Road? No. <laughs> it's like, defense alone is not enough in here. You need damage reduction or dodging or stunning or sealing or attack lowering. That's what you need in here. Defense alone, there's very few units we can get high enough to where it's not an issue. LR Int Cell comes to mind. His defense turn one is usually so high that he's fine, but it's very few units, right? Um, okay, so, I mean, we saw Bardock transform into Super Saiyan. I guess let's just do this. We're going to die here, but let's let's see. Okay, Mai is giving the 20% attack and defense. He's only at 93k. Yeah, watch. Look at, look at this massacre. This is... My Bardock is rainbowed. Rainbow, new Dokkan Fest exclusive, the very newest one. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this is going to uh, go down, right? All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. That's that's about how that goes in Extreme Super Battle Road. So, Bardock is a good option, but it's almost one of those things where if you're going to bring Bardock into the fight, what you would want to do is enter the Super Battle Road and sir okay okay so so here and survey the field right so like okay we're gonna hop because there's no stamina cost or anything like that so you could do stuff like this right so we're gonna hop in and the point is we're gonna see is there a wicked bloodline enemy in fights two and three if so we'll continue if not i'll reload so let's see we got frieza so that's fight two fight three is so there we go boom Th this would be the run that we would try because we would be able to get bardock to transform super saiyan right away and again, with the extra defense and damage reduction and all of the extra things he can do as a Super Saiyan, that is very important. That's what puts him ahead. And again, like, I mean, because if you're going up against a Wicked Bloodline enemy and you're able to transform right away into this behemoth Super Saiyan form, again, the amount of things he can do here, 80% attack, 100% defense, he'd be effective against all types, he's giving himself three key, 18% chance to crit, 18% chance to dodge, 18% damage reduction, uh, guaranteed crits, and a high chance of having an additional, uh, a, a guaranteed additional that has a high chance, 50% of being a super attack against Wicked Bloodline enemies. He does all of that. It's, it's like insane, right? But against normal enemies, I mean, his base form is not going to be anything special. It's nothing crazy. It's not going to be any different from some other uh, high tier units. But if you are going up against that Wicked Bloodline enemy, whoo! Ho! Ho oh boy, does uh, Bardock put in work. So, let me know what you guys think of Dokkan Fest Bardock. I mean, this was Extreme Super Battle Road. Again, this is as hard as it gets, Extreme Super Battle Road. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time.